No, 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 no. No! No way. I can't do that there. I won't do it. Now we're running into the problem of we don't have any coal. Well, we're not going to fix that problem, unfortunately. Best we can do is make charcoal. So let's take a look at our wood stocks, which are basically empty. See, this is why this is where steel starts to run up against your industries. Sir, I hate saying no to you, but no.
I won't do it. Dwarves have organized a party. Everyone's invited. No. I said no. It won't work. You think I can do this? Sarah, I hate saying no to you, but no. Sorry, I can't do it, sir. Sorry, I can't do it, sir. Not with cage traps, but things could run in, for example, into a weapon trap, lose a couple of body parts, and then stumble into a cage trap and get caged. If they survive and they don't bleed out in the cage, then they're basically prisoners with missing limbs. Uh, perfect for sending out newbie dwarves with wooden weapons to bludgeon the snot out of them. Uh, it's a complex series of steps. Uh, I think we have a goblin here uh, we've trapped earlier who tried to escape through the cage traps over between those ponds over there. Um, 
we probably could demonstrate it with him. So give me a second. Let me see if I can capture some more goblins, hopefully. And we'll come back and... Uh, now I realize why these aren't doing it. Because I'll, I'll bet they got suspended a whole lot earlier and we never really re-enabled them. Um, we will... Uh, can't do that there. We will uh, try to capture a few more goblins, and we'll actually sick the military with a bunch of training weapons onto uh, unarmed, no. armored, but unarmed goblin prisoners. And you don't really want to throw the goblins into a danger room, for the record. Uh, if the goblins survive, which is event, which is actually possible if they're well-armored enough, uh, they will get better at dodging. They will get better at unarmed combat. Uh, you can, in fact, train goblins to become dwarf-killing machines. So, before you actually employ uh, traps against a goblin, it's wise to consider what the outcome of that might be. Oh, good, I need more migrants. Dwarves don't fit inside the light bulb. It's very difficult for them to screw in one. No, I can't do it.
Well, down at the bottom of the world where Eurist McStupid fell in, we have a, uh, a jade exoskeleton, poisonous vapor, forgotten beast. Uh, I seem to remember this is where the uh, reptile men were. Unfortunately for him, there's no way into the fortress from this position, so it's not going to help him a whole lot. The answer to the question depends on how long it takes the dwarves to invent light bulbs. And the slaughter of the turkeys continues. We're up to 125 turkey meat so far, just for those of you who are wondering. And since I've left the door open, we've been collecting the eggs. We're up to 420 eggs. So if the question is, do you want turkeys for their eggs or for their meat? The answer is almost always going to be we want them for the eggs. Uh, there was a brief siege earlier. Uh, it looked like one squad that was discovered attempting to sneak in, and we got a siege was broken message as soon as they dispersed. We never actually got the vile force of darkness has arrived message. But this squad of ambushers basically appeared, ran right over the weapon traps, right up uh, next to where the turkey is, right here. Oh, our uh, animal-powered watchtower went away here. Don't. Um, he wandered through the weapon. Tra they wandered through the weapon traps. They didn't even get through the first or the second rank. Um, in fact, once they, once the one remaining who retreated, retreated right into that cage trap on his way out of the map. Um, and once that, once they broke and ran, that it, apparently there was a siege in place and we didn't know about it. No. Okay, guys, it's been eight and a half hours today. I think I'm probably going to call it for this evening, go get some dinner, and uh, no. break it off for this evening. Keep your eyes peeled on the Reddit thread in the Red Dwarf Fortress subreddit, and I will post an announcement when we're going to continue. But at this point, we've, uh, <laughs> we've put in 20-plus hours this weekend already on Dwarf Fortress, and I think that's quite enough for myself this evening. If any of you have any questions before we... Uh, kill the stream off for this evening now would be a good time to ask otherwise i'm going to save the game and let you all get on with your lives as well any questions before i go guys
Uh, generally, I don't. I suppose you could try to amuse me enough that I would break that rule. I would rather I would rather fight one legendary cat-sized dwarf, which, given the growth bug, means that I would be fighting a normal dwarf. And anyone who has ever fought cats in their lives would know that you don't want to fight a hundred of them. All right, guys, if that's all of it, I'm going to knock off for this evening. I'll uh, post the continuation out there on Reddit sometime in the near future. Keep your eyes peeled.